Hey YouTubers. It's been just over a year since I started on this journey of trying to produce a laser EPG like Stan Myers, and I just wanted to give you an update. Uh, I know my videos are really focused on what they're doing at the time, but the overall project is kind of up in the air. So just wanted to tell you uh, what my research has led to and show you the, uh, the goal. Um, right now I've narrowed down my process to four different designs. Uh, you're looking at one of them and this is the I would, I would call it the traditional method or what's kinda out there. Uh, you've got your gas source flowing through a gas processor and then flowing through your metallic ion generator and hopefully coming up with a magnetic gas. Um, I don't know if this has been stated or not but in my gas processor for the final version you're not I'm not going to be using a high voltage generator um, like the ones you've seen in my previous videos those have just been to test the gas processor what will be used in the production of magnetic gas is going to be the VIC circuit and uh, so that we can efficiently um, strip those electrons off the gas in the metallic ion generator it's going to be a high voltage DC source Okay, so that's the traditional version, and then there's the uh, opposite. Um, I got a lot of flack when I mentioned this before, a lot of uh, negative feedback or people that didn't agree with this process, but I feel like I need to do it just to prove that it works one way or the other. Um, when I watch Stan's New Zealand video and he's talking about the laser EPG, um, and the gas formation, it really does sound like this is the process that he's using. So what you've got here is your gas mixing with the ions produced in here. Both of those atoms are being exposed to the high voltage field in the gas processor, stripping electrons off of both and then hopefully bonding on the other side. Okay, Here's a different process although it's very similar to the first idea um, this came up through comments on one of my YouTube videos um, so you got your gas source going through your gas processor uh, being stripped of electrons immediately going through a nebulizer containing nano medical I'm sorry, medical metal particles um, which are not one atom wide they're very small they're just not one atom so the concern with that is they need to be an atom. Uh, so they're going to go through, that mixture is going to go through a plasma cutter, which produces a uh, intense heat in the plasma field. And then hopefully that will separate the nanoparticles into single atoms so that they can bond with the uh, gas. And then they'll be stored in some kind of storage container. And the third version you've heard me talk about recently is the magna gas. Uh, through more research on the magna gas you don't necessarily need to have a water injection through the arc it can just be two carbon rods submerged underwater. Um, the only thing I recommend if you replicate this is to have a deep container so that the bubbles uh, that do ignite in the arc don't get to the surface and ignite your the rest of the gas that's already been produced. Um, let's just say I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> okay, so for the magna gas, um, for the research into that, I found that the bonds between the atoms that hold the magna gas together are destroyed by infrared light. So what you would have is columns being formed that are destroyed and uh, put back into single atom form or maybe even just molecule form kind of floating around when exposed to infrared light. What I need to find out is do they reform when the infrared is shut off? And if they do, that would be our pulse that would uh, induce our pickup coil in the laser EPG. 
and the infrared would be our photon source. Um, you may have noticed uh, this picture. This is the new design of my laser EPG. Um, the linear version, I'm not too positive that it's going to work anymore, so this is the new design. Um, I'll be experimenting with different photon sources, lasers, um, spectrum tubes, and the 10 watt LEDs that you've seen in my previous videos. I've got lots of different wavelengths on those, and I really think those are going to be the best, but uh, you'll never know until you try them all. Um, for the first version, this is going to be constructed out of PVC pipe. Um, I know it's not going to be a light guide but uh, the light's going to get around. I think it'll serve the purpose. So what you got here is uh, coils wound all the way around. Um, at each corner there's going to be a 45 degree mirror and hopefully the light comes in at a uh, straight angle and it will reflect all the way around. Um, and the idea behind this is when you induce uh, when you expose a atom to a photon source, it increases the magnetic field of that atom. So if you've got this laser EPG filled with your magnetic gas, you will increase the magnetic field by exposing it to a photon source. And the idea for the laser EPG is to, uh, let's just say we have a laser here, the laser will turn on and the beam will reflect staying on let's just say about a thousand times so if you have one atom here it's being hit by the photon source from one direction a thousand times before the laser is shut off so in theory the uh, magnetic field grows past your pickup coils the laser shut off the field collapses and you do it again and then that is your uh, that's the source of your uh, magnetic field induction for your pickup coil. Anyway, uh, that is it. I know I've been bouncing around a lot, but uh, this is the plan, this is the theory, and this is what I'm pursuing. So as soon as those, uh, as soon as I finish my gas processors, uh, this is where I'll be headed. Um, on a side note, if you're able to contribute parts, uh, that would be helpful. I still need a core for the um, VIC coil. I'd like a 1200 term <laughs> and lots of 30 gauge AWG magnet wire to wind uh, the laser EPG. So if you're able to contribute in that way, that would be great. Send me an email. Also, uh, feel free to comment, leave your thoughts, and uh, anything else, any other comments. So, that's it. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Take care.